Hi, and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. On this episode, it's gonna be very different than our usual ones, but um, we have been planning a pig picking. If you haven't heard of that, um, it is basically a whole hog roast. Um, we're doing it the traditional way, relatively traditional over wood um, outside in a pit. My husband built it. Um, He's from Eastern North Carolina, and this is the way his family used to do it. Now they mostly do it on a gas grill, but uh, we're gonna do it that way. So, but now we need to make barbecue sauce. Um, we are working out of uh, Sam Jones, uh, his cookbook about whole hog barbecue. And we are in Eastern North Carolina as he is, and we are going to make his Eastern North Carolina barbecue sauce. Um, so this is actually very simple. I have all of my ingredients right here um, and we're making enough for a whole hog party. It, this has, the book has two, uh, two recipes in it. One for, you know, a normal amount and one for when you're cooking a whole pig. Um, so that's the one that we're making and it starts with uh, Apple cider vinegar. It's here. Actually, no, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to refer to this because nothing is measured out except for one thing. And yeah, this is it's the end of the night. We just need to get this done. So because it it we really like to have it sit together and the flavors meld because there's a lot of um, uh, there's chili powder and other things in it that just sort of hydrate and come together. So. You start with a gallon of apple cider vinegar, but you really only need three quarts. So you need another place, a place to put that other quart and you just mix it all in this container. Take a funnel, put it in, and that's what we're doing. So the first ingredient is sugar, an awful lot of sugar. So I'm gonna be doing this for a while because I just have a small thing. Because this is what I'm gonna use to measure most of the things and not much will go into the funnel at a time anyway, so. Was a lot of sugar. We're done with the sugar. And I'm gonna try and get all my dry ingredients in here first. So next we have some black pepper. Um, normally I would, yeah, normally I would grind my own black pepper, but I bought a ground black pepper for this because it's half a cup and that is an awful lot of turns of the pepper mill. So, we are using pre-ground. There we go. Um, there's no salt in this, which is interesting. All right, so we have crushed red pepper next. And I think this bag will be enough. Let's hope. Yeah. Cool. Getting this to go in is going to be the trick. To get kind of full, but we're going to trust that this will work. Um, 
We need some chili powder. So that's what this is. to our wet ingredients and hoping they all go in. So, um, I think I'm gonna try to shake this up a bit and get the dry stuff incorporated before I add this. So, watch for the explosion. Not too bad. I'm not sure I have enough room for all of this, but this, is an awful lot of Texas peat. So keep our fingers crossed that this goes in because we then have an awful lot. No, there is no way we're gonna fit all of that in there. No way. No, we're supposed to put two cups of barbecue sauce in this, but there is no way that will fit in here. No, no way. Um, so I'm not sure what we should do about that. All right, um, we're gonna get a, a jar to pour some of this in and sort of put some of the barbecue sauce in there and some of it in here and hopefully that will work. Excuse the knocking around. All right, uh, this is our favorite bottled barbecue sauce that we use sort of all the time. Um, I like it because it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it, which is like the first ingredient of most barbecue sauces. So um, that's just what we're using. He suggests using Kraft. Actually, in a different place, he suggests using Kraft, but. Um, if I had known that my 18 ounces of barbecue sauce would really only be a little under 16 ounces, I would not have measured it because that's all I need is 16 ounces. So, oh well. So now, um, now we have to sort of make this work, right? <laughs> so, let's see. Not all the sugar, the sugar's not all dissolved yet. I'm gonna try and get as much of everything sort of evenly distributed as I can. Should be good. So now I'm going to pour a good bit of this in here. And what I'm going to do is dissolve this with this and put it back in there. Just to get most of it out of the, uh, I'm just gonna, I just put some of the barbecue sauce, the vinegar mixture in here to dissolve the barbecue sauce so that I can get most of it out of the container. So, there we go. All right. So, let's 
So now we have almost a quart plus almost a gallon. There we go. And you'll probably be seeing us uh, cooking a whole pig somewhere in the very near future. First, we just have to get it towards us. Okay. Slide. All right. Okay. Yeah. And then one, two, three. Come on. Come on. Away from the wall. Which way? That way? Okay. Ooh. You good? Mm -hmm. 